to the breakfast club, bitches. You can call me the donkey of the day, but, like, I mean no harm. Well, donkey of the day for Wednesday, August 4th, goes to a 22-year-old man named Max Berry. Very important to note that Max is a formal, former Ohio Wesleyan University student. Actually, it's not important to note, but it's the first line of this news report I'm reading on WBNS News Channel 10 Miami. And it's clear why that's the first line, but we'll get to that. Max Berry was arrested for wilding out on a plane. Now, Max is absolutely one of those people who could have been on stage at Versus last night because he likes to fight. All right? He's a wild boy. Like 1990, early 2000s levels of problematic hip-hop wild. Okay? Wild out by the locks was probably always playing on a loop in Max Berry's head. And Max Berry was on a Frontier Airlines flight. Only reason I'm naming the airline is because I have to let listeners know where it's going down at in case you want to avoid or prepare for any problems. See, if you know where it's going down at, you can make executive decisions to A, not show up, or B, be prepared to fight. Okay, you gotta dress a certain way just in case you gotta fight. You saw how the locks were dressed last night, minus a little bit of jewelry on Kiss, they were ready for battle. And when you hear stories like Max Berry, you need to be prepared for battle on Frontine Airlines too. Okay, now Max was on a flight from Philly to Miami. I can't blame this one on Florida, because he's from Ohio, but I have a feeling you know, just like you have to prepare for battles, Max was preparing for Florida, so he was getting into his Florida fool zone. See, some people don't wait to get to Florida to act a damn fool. They turn into fools before they get to Florida. Sometimes you have to put the whole armor of a Florida fool on to prepare for Florida and just know that God takes care of babies and fools. Wait, I'm getting a download. What'd you say, God? Oh, don't bring you into this when it comes to Florida? Oh, Satan got a kingdom too? Oh, my bad. All praises due to God who just informed me. Uh, I have nothing to do with this. Now, Max Berry, what did he do? Let's go to WPLG ABC 10 for the report, please. This video showing a violent confrontation between a flight attendant and passenger during a flight from Philadelphia to Miami. Moments later, the flight attendant restrained the passenger with a seatbelt extender and duct taped him to his seat. The unruly passenger, identified as 22-year-old Maxwell Berry, started with a pro profanity lace tirade against a flight attendant. Shut the f up. Miami Dade police say Barry had a few alcoholic drinks, then groped the breasts of two female flight attendants and punched a male flight attendant, prompting crew members to subdue him. The flight attendants involved have been relieved of flying duty during the investigation. As far as the suspect, he was arrested and charged with battery after he landed here at Miami International Airport. Max brushed. Yeah, that, that news report was kind of cute, you know what I'm saying? It didn't give the details I, I, I wanted, okay? But, 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 but Max brushed an empty cup against the attendant's backside. The attendant told Max not to touch them. And then Maxwell spilled his drink on his shirt, went to the restroom. Then Maxwell Barry groped a flight attendant's breast. Then the report says Barry walked up behind two flight attendants, put his arms around them, and groped their breasts again. So the flight attendants asked another flight attendant to watch Maxwell Barry, and then Maxwell Barry punched that flight attendant in the face. Okay? <laughs> the news report could have easily painted this kid out to be an unruly thug who not only sexually assaulted women by groping them, he actually assaulted a flight attendant by trying to fight him, actually punched him. Okay? Instead, news reports point out that he went to college. And that report we heard from ABC 10 WPLG didn't, you know, make it sound like he was committing actual crimes. They treating him the way they treating the domestic terrorists who stormed the Capitol on January 6th. Just my daily reminder that there was an attempted coup on this country on January 6th, and they treated it like a bunch of kids while not on spring break, just like they treating Max Berry now. Would you like to hear how Max Berry sounded before he punched the flight attendant? By the way, I don't know if the flight attendant was male or female, but listen. You guys fucking suck. My parents are worth more than fucking two million goddamn dollars. And you know what? You fucking suck. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. You know what? My grandpa is worth more than one fucking million. Mm. The entitlement. The privilege. We don't even have to play a game of guess what race it is, okay? The caucasity of Maxwell Berry. I hate a do you know who I am type of person, and I hate a do you know who my parents are type of person even more, okay? Now, I respect my elders, and I'm a more healed version of myself, but if someone told Max, F your grandma in that moment, I could understand. 
Okay. Now that it's clear that his parents are somebody though, because you can tell how these you know news reporters are reporting this story. Like they even spoke to a spokesperson for Ohio Wesleyan University, who said Maxwell Berry was a former student who graduated in May and mem- and he was a member of the school's golf team. So what? Okay, they put all of this in the news report as if it matters to the story. You know why they did that? To justify this fact that the FBI was contacted and said they are not going to pursue federal charges against Barry. Once again, no need to play a game or guess what race it is. And his parents really must be somebody because if you grope two flight attendants, punch another one, have to be restrained on a plane by being duct taped to the seat... Most of us would probably be banned from flying forever or at least suspended from flying for a long time. But not when you Max B. No, not Max B, the wave God. This Max B is the white God, okay, who clearly has the connections and complexion for protection. Kathy, would you like to, uh, you know what to do, Kathy. Please give this giant jar of mail the biggest hee-haw. Mm-hmm. Donkey today is brought to you by the law office of Michael S. Lamisoff. Don't be a donkey. Dial pound 250 on your cell and say the bull if you've been hurt in a construction accident. That's pound 250 from your cell and say the bull. 